What is it? The dictionary states it as an unusual, exciting or daring experience. Hello, my name is Jamie O'Dell and welcome to my screen life on Wired Love Adventure. Ever since I was a little kid, I have loved the smell of petrol and burning rubber. I got my first motocross bike at the age of five and instantly became addicted to the Russia game then. Bearing in mind I only just learned how to ride a push bike, so it was a pretty big accomplishment for me. I didn't use any stabilizers, I just jumped on it and started tearing up the track. Well that's what I thought I was doing. I will never forget the day my granddad let me jump over him on our homemade ramp. It was the most daring experience of my life and I enjoyed every single second of it. I love to try seek adventure as much as I can. Sometimes it's hard, but when I do, I enjoy every moment of it. This summer was probably the most enjoyable time I've had in a long while. I moved to Cornwall from Hertfordshire, which is an adventure in itself, and I was also able to do many things I haven't done before. My friends came to visit me on holiday. We had the best time. We went harbour diving, played American football on the beach, and we also messed around in the sea. Even though those are only small things, I really did enjoy myself. You can't do things like that where I used to live, and that's why I can't wait for next summer. Extreme sports is often associated with adventure. Extreme sports can become very rewarding. You could even make a name for yourself in the record books. You could be the next Travis Pastrana. Travis Pastrana is probably one of the most known FMX riders in the history of the sport due to him being the ringleader of Nitro Circus live and television shows. He was also the first person to double backflip a motocross bike skydive without a parachute and holds the world record for the longest jump in a rally car which now stands at 269 feet. There are also many inspirational people for the disabled. The best example for this is Aaron Wills Froringham who was the first ever person to backflip, frontflip and double backflip a wheelchair. With high reward comes high risk and unfortunately many people have lost their lives doing the things they love. Eric Ronner was unfortunately the most recent casualty. During a charity parachute event, he collided with a tree at high speeds and lost his life. No one really understands why I watch other people having fun on YouTube. My family find it weird and others find it a waste of time. Every night I get home from college and watch hours of videos. I'm not the only one that does it, millions of other people watch these videos too. Good morning everybody. I am in Schlidor in Germany in the Alps. The reason why we watch these videos is because you're able to experience things you may not be able to otherwise. There are many inspirational people in the world of YouTube. Casey Neistat is a prime example of this. His rags to riches story has motivated people worldwide. He has taught people that even if you come from a rough background, you're able to flip your life around and become a successful filmmaker who earns millions of views every week. I love adventure. I always have and I always will. I love the feeling you get when finding a new passion, exploring a new sport, or doing something you didn't think you could do. It's surprising how many people say how boring and bad the world is when they haven't even tried to explore it. The most adventurous thing I have ever done is when I went to the Yorkshire Dales with about 15 of my school friends. We did some really amazing things. We climbed up to the highest point of Yorkshire, walked through some waterfalls, swam in some natural springs and went caving. We all stayed in a cabin in the middle of nowhere. It was the best five days of my life. Caving was very claustrophobic, but after you forgot about that, it was amazing exploring these really small caves that hardly anyone has been in. It's a shame I don't have any photos or videos from the experience, but it's one of those memories I'll never forget. I think that everyone is capable of doing something they've never done before. Even if it's something small, I strongly suggest people explore the planet. Don't forget, we won't be here forever. Now that's my idea of an adventure. What is yours?